I am trying out Bant Eldrazi again to try to play test for the upcoming open. Um, I messed with the main board a little bit. The lands themselves are the same, but um, I added in two Eternal Witness. I did shave a spawner and a droner, hope to make room for it. Just giving us more um, recurability, bringing back our threats. It can get pretty crazy with Displacer and that as well. So I wanted to test it out. That's what the old version used to do. And then in the sideboard here, uh, I did change it quite a bit. So we're on three rest in peace now instead of the four. We're still on the two stonies. I did trim the stubborn. So now I'm on two stubborns, one disdainful, and one negate. Um, I'm only down to one knight of autumn and one deputy because I am. I did pick up a natural state, a reclamation stage, and a thrag test just to give us a little bit more versatility here. And then I did also put in a engineered explosives into the side uh, just because I really like that card right now. Um, the rest of the deck is the same, so we're just going to jump into a modern league here and try to try to play things out. And I'm uh, kind of on the fence right now of what I want to play for the uh, upcoming Open. Um, still haven't found a deck that I am absolutely in love with as far as my play style and where I'm at. If you guys are checking out the stream, I do have the uh, the deck list uh, overlay now, so you guys can click on that and you can check out the deck I am playing, so you can always see where we're at. Um, so yeah. This hand's a little rough. Uh, we could keep it, play Caverns, Names Humans, uh, play Noble, um, and then rely on that Noble sticking around to cast our Ancient Stirring to try to get this going. Um, it's pretty risky. Um, we're on the draw, so I, I just don't think it's worth keeping. It's uh, the, Too much has to go right for it to make it sure it works out. This hand's much more reasonable, so we'll keep this. And we've got a Noble on top as well. And we're just going to run up the Noble here, pass it over. No need to run out the Caverns, name me anything, and I don't want to pain myself if I don't have to yet. Um, they did play Dark Slick Shores first, so they could be on Adnaz here. So, with it being ad nauseum, we can play Thalia, slow them down a good bit. Make them invest a lot more mana into their spells if Thalia can stick around, which will be really nice. We just gotta draw some other cards to pressure them and we should be okay. So we're probably just gonna run out our sky spawner here. And then we'll hit them for three. If they do play a Frixian Unlife, we will hit it with the EE. -E. Kind of worth it to run out the EE right now, I think, and maybe blow up those Pentad Prisms. Because the AR is struggling with mana a good bit here. Um, we can hit them first. Uh. 
think I like that game plan. We can cut them off the mana this turn. Um, if we want to, we could crack the Scion for it and then play Ancient Starnings afterwards. Um, I kind of like that route. So we're cutting them off a ton of mana here if they left this resolve. And honestly, if they want to pack it, okay. I think we're okay with that as well. That's stirrings. Hmm. Grab the smasher and we'll pass it over. They're gonna Angel's Grace here and just tap out because they can't go off. Not with that much mana. Still haven't gotten a land, so it puts them in a pretty bad spot to try to go off. They drop in the end life, yeah. It's a good card for them. Now the upside for us is that we're gonna be able to hit them with the first strike, which puts them at zero, and then I'll hit them with the um, damage. Which will give them more infect damage, I believe. And then afterwards, we're gonna hit them with a thought knot here. Rip another card out of their hand, make their life more difficult, unless they want an angel's grace here. Cool. That went off well for us. Run out the Thought Knot. See what they got going on in their hand. I'm seeing how they're going to get out of this here. They have a hard time dealing with Thalia to begin with once it hits the board. And we've taxed them so heavily as a result of it, making their place pretty awkward all over the place. We're about to rip another card out of their hand. They're going to go to their turn. Even if they hit a land drop and go to six mana, they still can't combo off because of Thalia. So. Oh, they got spoils. And I don't know, so we'll just take Lightning Storm. 
and hold the path. So I want to bring in Negate, Disdainful Stroke, the Stubborns, and then I can bring in the Rex Sages, the Natural State, the Knight of Autumn, the Detention, Engineered, and then Stony. These are all options for us um, here. We don't necessarily need the paths. The only thing that we're hitting is the um, their Lab Maniac, which isn't a big deal. We can live without that part of the combo. And then we don't need the sky spawners. Drowners can be cut as well. We're really just trying to stifle their capabilities of playing anything and then win after that. Um, thought Nuts are prime here. Thalys are great. Smashers lets us put a really good clock on them as well. Um, I think I'm good without the EEs, just because they're not, like, the, the turns that you're going to hit them, it, it's kind of awkward. I don't know if we need three, because we're bringing in a lot of other stuff that's taking care of the things we want to hit anyway. Um, so I'm good with cutting that, and I think we can cut one um, E-Web, because if we get some stuff, we, it's cool, but it's not the end of the world that we don't hit it. Um, and I definitely don't want to hit multiples in this match, but I want to hit more of the spells that we're going to be using to take them on. Yeah, it was pretty solid. Let me start off with a noble here. Okay, ley line. Run out this noble. And we'll pass it over. Next turn leaves us open to go Displacer, Ancient Stirrings, or we can go Knight of Autumn if we want to take off that Ley Line right now. I'm not as worried about taking off the Ley Line right away, so we can definitely just run out the Displacer and the Stirrings, set ourselves up for um, the following turn, which we will be able to hit them pretty well. So, let's run out the Temple, and then run out the Displacer. Because we drew Noble, I think I'm going to also play the Noble here instead of playing the Stirrings. Gives us more mana, and then next turn allows us to do some uh, Displacer shenanigans if, it, if we want. So, because we'll be able to play a land, we'll have six mana, which will be pretty sweet. We'd love to hit a Thalia pretty soon here, just to mess with them and tax them a good bit again. I really like where Ad Nauseam is still in this format. I don't think we have a need for playing the caverns quite yet. I think we can start things off just by hitting them for five with Splacer here. Ooh. 
What? They have a path? Okay. That's crazy. We'll grab a blue here, see how many mana we're missing. Alright. I'd like to stirrings here now. Smasher's good. Smasher. I want to hold the Knight of Autumn just in case we need to hit like a Pentad Prism or a Phyrexian on life since we lost our ability to displace it. missing land drops, which is pretty crazy. Let's hit them hard with the smasher. <coughs> okay. I still don't see the need to run out the night of autumn, so I'm just going to pass it over. Smasher. I'm also going to run out another unlife here on three. Oops. Since we have two of them in hand now. The things we want to hit are all are on three here, so see if they got a, another response for us. What up, Gerby? How's it going, man?
Uh, did you? What were you? Uh, what commander decks were you guys playing? not here we're just we're not adding anything else to the board of any relevancy and uh, we can't hit them with because they have the ley line in play so let's just pass it over cool got there match one one and oh Super Friends versus Blue White Flash versus Soul Tie Reanimator. Sounds like some fun times. <coughs> hmm. Alright, we'll keep this. Um, we really need to draw like a temple. But I'm not against getting a turn to Thalia. And our EE can do a lot of work here. Looks like we're against rock. Or not? Hmm. What vile deck plays an overgrown tomb? Is this soul tie? Four color. What kind of shenanigans are we dealing with? I'm not sure about running out our EE quite yet. It's a human's lust? I was just doing some crazy shock land stuff so they can play more cards. You think this is Soul Tie Eternal Command? Also, I don't know how you guys, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I play commander and it's my fault but I oh what hmm hmm doing some weird stuff over there I don't know what they could flash in with that vial, so I just want to hit them with a smash here. Maybe they are on some weird soul tie list, I don't know. But they're four colors for sure. Solidly four color here. And Coco? What? Okay. 
can blank whatever they want. Why didn't they do that at the end steps and then we lose our... F oh, it's because... Gotcha. Because now they can Wasteland Stranger, kill Arthalia. That's cool. That's cool of them. Uh, we are going to uh, EE for three. And we're going to wipe their board. Some fun shenanigans with Flicker Wisp and uh, Wasteland Strangler they got going on there. Hotless. Oh man, they're gonna scull her away our displacer. We needed that. I guess we're cool enough just to get another one off the top of the deck, so it's not a big deal. That's enough to kill them. They got a flicker wisp. Oh my gosh, they're so good at this game. shock ourselves we can do it a third time hmm here. If I would have shocked myself in there, we would have been able to finish them off. But I did not, so. I 
they can do some Knight of Reliquary shenanigans here. Yep, no, for sure. If I would have played the land untapped, we would have been able to kill them just by bouncing the uh, the noble out of the way and finish it off. Hmm, he went for flicker here is pretty good for them. to flicker away our reality smasher I think we still just want to swing with the smasher we don't want to give up our displacer and I think we just have to pass it over So it's a little awkward for us here because if we blink their Flicker Wisp, they're going to be able to blink their like Ewet and get some pretty great value from that. Because they'll be able to bring back like their um, their Cocos and everything. So, But we do not have an option on this and we need to do it. So, Let's start off with blinking their Knight of Relicory. Let's see what they target. Yeah, they targeted their e wit And we will, in response, hit their other Flicker Wisp. Flickerwisp are making our life difficult, I tell you what. We sure could use another EE. -E. Smasher and then Violin the Strangler. Mm -mm -mm. And none of that will keep it up. That's unfortunate. So we punted that game by the one point. Okay. So in this game, I definitely want to bring in the EE. I think this is another match that I would want to have Thragtus as well. And then 
Uh, Knight of Autumn and Deputy does not seem bad here at all. And I don't... We could go for the Rest in Peace to shut off their E-Whip. I don't think that's worth it enough. I don't think Thali is that great in this matchup either. And I think I'm okay with cutting one Sky Spawner and bringing this in. Let's run it like a lap. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we should have won that match for sure, bro. Okay. This is a pretty solid start. We can cavern into the Noble, run out the Displacer, and see if we can follow it up with a Smasher. So let's keep this. Got a lot of good acceleration here. Um, and we can definitely overtake the game with it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm on this deck for Columbus. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Nope. I, um... Uh... I'm either going to play this or I think I might play the Titan Shift deck. I think EEing for one seems pretty worthwhile to take out both vials. Go on end step for a deputy and a wasteland strangler. That is pretty good, I tell you what. That is a fun little combo they got going on there with deputy and wasteland strangler. Take the two. That seems like a pretty suspect swing. Good. I feel like we just want to run this out. Oh, wow. I 
feel like we're being shenanigan beyond belief right now. I just want to point that out, guys. Why not? Mm -hmm. Well, they got a temple garden in hand. Do we think they have something else? If we swing with Thought Knot and Displacer, worst thing they could do is go Deputy and Strangler on the Thought Knot and the Strangler on the Displacer. Take nothing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And we, they'd be left with still some good power. So let's. I think we have to ship it here. Take that hit. Flicker Wisp. They're gonna hit their deputy and get our thought not. They're so good at this game. I just want to point that out. They are they are phenomenal. In order to effectively bounce that deputy, we need like six mana. Um, I think we just have to pass here. And we're gonna end up blocking with this sky spawner and blinking it. But the longer this goes on, the worse it is for us. we can hit one of them EEs. <laughs> they have quite the board to deal with. Oh my gosh, they're gonna flicker. they didn't do anything crazy I mean it's crazy but we can deal with it I think they need to just be on whatever they're doing right now. Like, they're obviously the better Eldrazi deck right now. Oh my gosh, and they have a spell skate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Are we just dead? <laughs> I 
if we block with Sky Spawner, they just uh, redirect it to Spell Sky. So. Block with the spawn. And then we'll just sack it for some mana. And blink our sky spawner. They're going to do the same thing, but that's fine. It'll, it'll make their spell sky tapped. We are getting dumpster. I don't, I don't even understand what's happening in life right now. Oh my gosh. I actually think we're just dead now because they have spell sky. Oh my gosh. Okay, they target our displacer. We try to blink it. They steal it with spell sky. Um, or we can't even blink it. Like, yeah, we're just dead. We can't save our displacer. If we try to blink our sky spawner, they just redirect it to spell sky and then they swing out and kill us. So. Yeah, EE -E did save us, but it also, it, it also left us with nothing. Well, I guess we, or no, we're not aligned. We, we were left with a thought not. But wow, wow, we got crushed. Sand's a little suspect, but it's got an accelerant with EE. -E. I mean, with uh, Temple, and we've got an Ancient Strength turn one. We are on the place. I'm going to try this one out. Oh, I was supposed to run off the Temple Garden there. That's 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 a misplay. If I run off the Temple Garden, I can play this place or this turn, but I didn't, so that's just... Absolutely incorrect. Goyfi Belay. That's a whole lot of removal for us, folks. Whole lot of removal. We're gonna take the Terminate, because they don't even have the other land for the Lily yet. And this way, if they want to get rid of the Thought Knot, they'll have to Assassin's Trophy yet. <coughs> but we should have a Displacer in play, do we? I know. Black source for that Liliana. Let's run off the displacer. We're gonna be able to bolt it. Okay. 
and because we can, we're gonna we're gonna blink their uh, Tarmogoyf here because we got nothing else going on, and I want to. just dead because they have enough power on board and a collegiate command right well the ether land I mean if they eat the creature then they still only have seven power Well, we are effectively at two life, and we drew another land, so uh, we did. Alright, I do not want the Thalias in this matchup. I do want the Thragtus. I want the Rest in Peace. I want the EE -E as well here. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm good with taking out the Sky Spawners. Let's run it. Okay. Pretty solid hand. Let's go ahead and keep this. Let's, uh... So if we play Yavamaya Coast first... Um, to play the Ancient Strings. We won't be able to play Displacer turn 2. So let's actually run off the Hollow Fountain, and then if they do disrupt our hand, um, we'll either be able to still run out the Displacer or the Rest in Peace. And then we can hold on to the Strings, depending on what they do. If they don't do anything, let's just run out the Displacer and ship it back to them. Spirit, okay. Luckily, that card doesn't actually hit us as bad um, as other versions. So let's run up, up the stirrings. We're going to hit a caverns here because I want to get more lands in play. And I did misclick that rest in peace. Mana for the rest in peace. That's really odd. It's not as big of a deal because I don't have anything else to play, but still, tap the land for no reason. That's just, I accidentally clicked it. Liliana. Goodbye, Displacer. Alright, we'll run up the caverns. Name Eldrazi. And we are going to run out our rest in peace. Then we'll pass it over. If they make us this card, we'll ship the rest in peace. And then that way we can drop a land and hit Smasher, take out Liliana. And then hopefully the following turn we'll be able to play another Smasher. And uh, really overtake the game.
trophies, got two for one of them at least. To get rid of damnation, we will take that. We will grab a force. Lead braid off. It's a bolt. So we have to decide if we want to keep the smasher or keep the droner. Um, if we keep smash, we'll be able to kill Liliana for sure. Um, if we get Drowner, we get protected against another top deck Liliana, which has some value, of course. But I think just getting being able to take the Liliana off the board this turn is pretty reasonable in where we want to be. Puts them on a pretty good clock here. Boyf is an 01. So they have to hold back the blood braid if they don't want to die. And it doesn't matter because we have a displacer. there with that one. Let's run it again. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, what are you thinking about uh, for the open, uh, Blake? Are you on a deck yet? Solidified on anything in particular? Hmm. This hand is pretty slow. I think this hand's like fine to keep, but we're not doing anything spectacular is the problem I have with it. Um, hmm. We'll keep it. We're probably just going to run off the windswept and go get a braiding pool here. But Or a hollowed found if we need it to path this turn. Just guy Nahiri seems pretty sweet. I think we will get the hollowed fountain. And we're gonna path this goyf. Not sure about the Nahiri part, but I def um but I definitely think Just Guy is pretty solid right now. up with them and we're not in a great spot to do that. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. If we path our displacer to get another land here, they uptick with Lily. We have to discard Drowner, and then we're left with just Smasher. I don't really think that's where we want to be in life, but I think that's the line I'm going to go with. Top deck of land now. We did not. We did get a thought knot. Take the pulse from them. If they want to get rid of the thought knot, they'll have to give up their lily. If they have another lily, it'd be pretty bad for us. Unless they just want to activate the ravine, that'd be pretty good for them. Activate the ravine, swing. Thought the seas is good too. Ravine, we have to block the ravine. And we're dead. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that second hand wasn't, I mean, that hand wasn't that great. I knew that going into it, but. Mm. Sounds pretty solid. Displacer and thought that makes it pretty sweet. If we can find a temple, not a temple, um, yeah, an Eldrazi temple would be pretty sweet. We wouldn't be able to play it turn two, because if we lead it off with the force, unless we use the windswept to go crack it for uh, a temple guard, but then we aren't having a blue source. Um, hmm. Well, we can solve the blue source by using caverns. Okay, um, looks like we're against possibly Phoenix here or Storm. Yeah, I think we're going to go that route. Let's grab the Temple Garden. Use the Temple Stirrings. We did find a Temple, so let's grab that. We'll ship it back, and we'll plan to just go displace her next turn into Thought Knot. Is that a bolt to displacer? Nope, it's a lava axed one. Discarding the Phoenix seems good for them. Let's see if they're getting a Phoenix back this turn. We should be able to race them, unless they get two Phoenixes here. Um, going Thought Knot, ripping a spell, and then going Smasher into Drowner. Seems pretty good. If they go do a good thing in the ice, we should we'll still be able to deal with it with EE. Which is good as well. So we'll have to see how this all plays out. But I don't hate where we're at right now. Leading off with an opt makes me feel like we're gonna be seeing Phoenix smashing us in the future.
hopefully it's not multiple. Because I don't want to get hit with multiple, Phoenix. That card's so good. It's two Phoenix we're going to be hit with. Tragic. Another spell opponent? Yeah, you do. They win this race right now. Unless we hit another temple off the top of the deck. Because then we could drown her and keep the Arc Light Phoenix step down. That will do it. If we were to E-Wet, we don't really get back anything relevant. Smasher only lets us hit him for 9. And we don't have enough mana to do the Drowner, so we are dead. Okay. Uh, I want to see the Rest in Peace here. And the Deputies. The Thrag Toss. They do have a plan for Blood Moon against us, so we should be prepared for that as well. Um, I like the negate. Negate might be a bit much. Um, I don't think we need an e whip in this matchup. I don't think we're going to be grinding things out too much here. And then... I'm good with cutting the Drowners as well. I like keeping the Sky Spawner because of the... being able to block the Phoenix, but... I also want to still keep our Thalias because they're great. Paths are great. Displacers have a lot of value here. Thought not to rip things out of their hand to smash or push a clock on them. So let's try this version right now. Alrighty, we got a whole lot of displacers and we got a noble to start things off with. Phoenix in the graveyard already. Temple's pretty sweet. Do we care about hurting them or hurting us? like we're going to see an arc light in our future. That's Gower, okay. Not, not, not two of them though, which is good.
Hmm, they didn't swing. That's interesting. Oh, let's crash for four. Let's go stirring around. Didn't hit anything relevant. Too bad that. Rest in peace. So we'll grab the temple here. Bottom the rest. And we're just going to put the temple on a play tapped. And I'm going to plan on um, flickering their arc light here. Well, I was going to play Titan Shift, but I'll play um, Just Guy Nahiri. Uh, do you have a list put together? Sorry, I got distracted by chat. Okay. That was a mistake. They should be hitting us for three right now. <laughs> I'm playing so bad right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, let's run out the brag to us. This seems pretty sweet. If you want to just grab the list that he has from his website, that's fine. hold the path instead of playing the displacer. Because if they swing with the arc light, we can path the thing in the ice and win the game. <laughs> Snapcaster mage. On lightning axe. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I think we want to path it. We'd rather just take the 3-3. Three, three. Still pretty good since it can get the um, exalted trigger. Now would be 
a pretty solid time to path the thing in the ice. We give them the fourth mana though, which means they could be dropping a crackling drake, so let's hold off still then. Okay, got it. We can definitely play that next. Another Blood Moon is fine. Fine with that as well. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm not gonna path a thing in the ice because it will only put them down to one. So let's swing, see if they block. Still swinging, they sure are. Oh, let's go for the path. to steal that one. This hand's not bad. It does rely on this noble sticking around for the caverns, but pretty strong hand. We got a rest in peace to follow it up, and then we got a displacer and a smasher. Thanks, Gorb, for subscribing. You're my first subscriber. Mm, thing in the eyes, okay. So we can run out Displacer or we can run out Rest in Peace. I think I am good with running out the rest in peace because next turn we can run out the displacer and blink it thanks man I appreciate that things more difficult for us so we can't get the smashers out oh we're good at this game we got a natural state so we don't care let's get a smasher out 
and start pressuring them. So in this case, if they run out of another Blood Moon, we'll still have the Smasher in play. So if they flip their thing in the ice, we're going to run out a Smasher again and a Noble and just go for the hit on six if they don't swing at us. And then try to, the following turn, play Displacer and blink their thing in the ice. This is pretty much our game plan right now. Unless we draw a White Source. If we draw a White Source, we can run out Displacer and blink. Oh, Blake, did you, uh, <laughs> uh, Duke was telling me about his plan for our streaming group <laughs> today when we were walking back from my uh, lunch, um, and he wants to go pretty hard with it, so it's pretty interesting. He wants to get a whole group of us streaming and doing stuff, getting more events going on, so thought that was pretty cool. Huh. So their Crackling Drink's just a 2-4. Playing the Displacer seems like the safest bet for us. Because then we can run it out, hit for 6, and then we can blink the thing in the ice if necessary to stop them. I'm going to run out the Windswept Heath here because I want to be able to um, crack that for a basic land if we need it. No, no, no. He wants me to have this stream set up, so it'll, it'll be at my place. Um, I told him the downside is that uh, if we want to do like a giant group thing, it requires more cameras and everything, but he is willing to make me make that investment. <laughs> so, we'll have to set up some stuff. Uh, getting some more cameras shouldn't be that big of a deal. My computer can handle it as well here. I think we're good with this first spell triggering. But yeah, he wants to do the board game thing, the critical role thing, all that. You know, live the dream, try to become streamers. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I, I, I have to set up the living room. Is the I think the key here. I don't know if it'd be worth your time to come over tonight for the stream, but what we could do is set it up for um, next week Sunday. I could have you guys over and we could do a group stream. Because I probably want to get your guys' input on how to set up the uh, set up the room to better accommodate for um, multiple people. We're gonna take five here, and we're gonna see if we can just smash them for the win. Okay, two and two, going into the last one. Yeah, if you guys want to decide on what decks you guys want to play, um, and we can do a group stream. Uh, I think the biggest thing I have to work out is, um, so my mic can pick up all of us, but I got to make it so we can all hear um, effectively. 
and then I gotta get the seating arrangement now because like the couch is set up so people can just hang out on there but like it's not exactly optimal if you guys are like playing with me and um, talking a lot but it's great for people just wanted to hang out and because I have the big screen set up so people can just watch whatever I'm doing so keep this I'm pretty sure I have verse quell 33 a lot it's a name that sounds really familiar I think we just want to get a temple garden. Run out the noble. And then we'll plan on just running out thought not next turn. Looks like we might be going against Phoenix again. all but confirms that. Let's see what they're working with. Hmm. Desperate ritual. Are they on a version of Storm? That's like the old version where they're playing Pyromancer's Ascension. Interesting. Faithless seems like a solid decision because um, it will st it's the highest likelihood to prevent them from being able to Pyromancers. But I think Desperate is also fairly reasonable here. Let's take the Faithless though. I just want to prevent them as much as possible on getting those uh, <sighs> those counters on this Pyromancer because that can get really out of control. on Eldrazi. Hold up a path and pass it over. Well, they've pretty much got a copy of every spell in the grave. This arc light. I 
they have a bolt. That'd be pretty bad. Hit our board pretty well and uh, get back to our light. <coughs> Hmm, the arc like we can deal with using path, but that pyromancer is going to get so out of control. Ah, huh, they have grape shot too. It's like a weird storm phoenix hybrid deck. That's a desperate ritual, so they're going to go pretty crazy here, adding a ton of mana. Are they just going to Faithless, though? Oh, yeah, Metamorphos. Pretty solid. So, Faithless. Draw two, discard two, draw two, discard two. That is so good. All right, they're up to two Phoenix. Bending a ton of land. I haven't seen thing on the ice. They've got all the man in the world. I wonder if they're running a pass in flames. I swear at the end of all this is all they're gonna do is ring back the two Phoenix and then swing at us and we'll laugh. I'm just expecting to get grape shot at this point to death. There's another arc light, so they're up to three, and that they do have a thing in the ice in the grave, okay. They're running molt more than the average two pyromancers, which is good. Okay. They send it all our way. We can stay alive by pathing one and blocking the other. Ah, oh, no, they got past the flames. That's it. Okay. We got a bit of a different list. I think negates are reasonable here. I don't like the disdainful struck if it's just hitting pass and flames. I do want the rest in peace. I definitely want the Knight of Autumns. Deputies, I think, here. I still want the Thragtus. I think I still want to bring in the Natural State and the Rex Sage. I may want to bring in the um, EE as well here because they are playing much more aggressively into that aspect we're bringing in all the I think I'm gonna cut those five already don't think I need the drowners either um, brings us up to 64 cards uh, uh, uh. I 
think because we have decreased our density so much, I'm gonna cut two ancient stirrings here. And I think I'm gonna cut two smashers as well. Let's try this. All right, cannot keep this. If this had one green source, I would've kept this, but cannot keep this either. All right, this hand's terrible and we're gonna keep it. Do not want that. All right. We are gonna run out the temple and the chance that we hit a thought knot off the top. No thought not. I'm gonna shock in the breeding pool and pass it over and hold up the stubborn here. I don't want to get hit with a desperate into a blood moon or a um, a pyromancer as if I can stop it right now. Sure. They did run out that, so let's stubborn it. Play the windswept and we'll pass it over. Fetch up an island. I mean, not an island now, a plains. Smasher is pretty solid. They're gonna splice it. Yeah, they're gonna splice it. All the mana. They are storming off the hard way. I'm like really hoping that they have the goblin plan because we can deal with that. <laughs> They don't have another metamorphose. They are just stuck with the red mana. It doesn't give them much. They can only cast another ritual. What else do you got? Oh, you got a faithless. They hit two arc lights. You got flashback the faithless now. I bet. 
Oh, no, they're going to go for the Grape Shot. Grape Shot us for 11. Or 12. Nope, 11. Nope, 12. And then hit us with an Arc Light. We'll be able to path one of them. Smash off the top to win. No smasher off the top means we lose. That is unfortunate. Alright. Did not do too hot with the Banta Eldrazi. Let's go ahead and ship the deck back. And then we're going to pull up the requested Just Guide in a Harry list and we're going to run that. So that deck is gone. We got the list. And we are renting the deck. That deck did not do as well on <coughs> when um that second Phoenix type was pretty out there and then the uh Abzan Vile deck that we four colored madness that we went against that we lost to that was pretty crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, the value that they got off on us because we were trying to keep up with them is just not happening. like the deck list has been updated on stream decker as well oh let's go ahead and stop the